was that? Thank you. 
Underline her keywords. She needs right now to formula so she can substitute.
and in six seconds. Down as on me. Oh, my shit, his eyes are super big. <laughs> um, all right, do you guys remember Pepper? Where we stood up. Any answer questions? Oh, come on. <laughs> all of you guys were in. You, I only had you for half a year, didn't I? Most of you. I had to be all year. I had Nathan on you. All right, we're going to try it anyway because I want to try it. With you. Stand up and push your chairs up. I'm gonna ask questions and I'm gonna call the name and you answer. You guys remember this, we did this all the time. Maybe not. I don't know if you like. What happened, dude? What goes in? Alright. I'm just gonna like, quick check in where we are. Okay. What is I equal to? What is I equal to? Plan. Perpendicular. Quadratic equation. Oh, come on. 
What's the degree of a quadratic equation? What, you thought I was coming here to make it easy for you? What's the degree of a quadratic equation? Mr. Taco, what's the degree of a quadratic equation? Do we answer it? Yes. A second. 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 What's the exponent always in a quadratic equation? In a quadratic, right? What's the exponent? Anyone? I'll take a hand. John Mark says two. Anyone disagree with John Mark? You disagree? What do you think it is? You agree. Okay, cool. Think about it, y'all. It's always like this, right? x squared plus bx plus c. And then the degree of a polynomial is always the highest exponent, right? Alright, sit down. Take your papers, remember when we used to wave them? Alright. Tear off the front. You have three minutes to do as many rows on the back as you can working independently. Yeah. Time's going fast. Minute 56. Take 30 more seconds.
All right, go ahead and pass those up and over to Nathan. And then, I knew you guys would be disappointed if you didn't get to ball up your do now, so I provided a blank page next that you can tear up and ball up, don't throw it yet. Do you remember this? Yeah. This is the old, yeah, you remember this, you don't remember Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now we only have a trash can. Alright, you got 10 seconds to go. To throw, go. Oh! 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 Seven missed. How many made it? Three. So what percent? Thirty percent made it. How many? What percent missed it? Okay. Hi, y'all. So excited to see you. Um, it's been a while. I am. So I'm gonna like tell you about my life. Now. Is that okay for a minute? Just a minute. Oh, she yeah. not so big. Yeah. You're like very excited. <laughs> Shanique always smiled. Shanique, I could be like giving her the hardest math problem in the world. And she would smile. Um, so I'm here today because Mr. Tomko invited me down. I'm really excited to work with y'all on some algebra, algebra two. Um, I taught last year at a different school, right? And now I go around. Do you guys remember the guy who used to come in and watch me teach sometimes? Yeah. He's yeah? a taller guy. Yeah. Gary L. He would always come in. You guys can hear me. Yeah. Gary L. He would always come in and just. And Gary will go, Mr. Alamut, Mr. Alamut, that hot dude's here, right? <laughs> so I'm that dude now, but not the hot part, right? I'm the dude that goes around and watches people teach and gives them feedback, helps them get better. Um, so I work for Teach for America. I have 35 teachers that I go around and watch teach, but I miss teaching so much, I miss kids. Um, so that's my life, my job life now. I have 35 teachers, and some of them teach like fifth grade reading, and some of them teach 12th grade science, and I don't really know how to help all of them. So don't tell them that because we're recording so they can watch me so they can make fun of me. But um, that's, my, that's my work life. I still live, live in the very same place that I lived before. Um, it's been three years now. My landlord is incredibly racist, so I have to move. He keeps using the N-word, which is not okay with me. know that. So I'm going to move because of that. So um, None of the girls that you guys knew about are still in my life, which is good news, right? I hope they know. was like four girls ago. <laughs> Not really. I'm playing. Relax, relax. That was a joke. <laughs> Megan was like three years ago, though. Um, and then you guys met Allie. Some of you met Allie. Yeah. 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 Um, we broke up too. And now I'm, I've been single for a full year. Aren't you guys proud of me? I've never been single before. But now, but I met a girl that I really like. Her name is Julia. And um, we'll see if it. If we're still going out, I'll bring her to the um, Crawford Club. You guys can do that. What? I'm not dating your sister. Good God, I hope not. <laughs> that would be terrible. Would have... <laughs> um, so I will be. That's my life. Do you guys have questions about it? It's pretty much the same. It's boring. I like to still do the same things. Fan is the same. Um, I want to hear about your lives and what you're doing. Uh, I will be at the coffee spoil. I will be at lunch. I'm gonna go hang out down there and then. I'm gonna stay around after school if you wanna come hang out with me and take a late bus on. Apparently I'm gonna go to the softball game too, which is down the road. Weird. It feels up the road. No, it's down the road. It's at the right field. Alright, someone's gonna have to tell me how to do it. Alright. It's a straight shot. It's like right there. Well everything's a straight shot here. It's either up or down. <laughs> what? Oh the, it's like right there. By the flagpole? Oh, it's right there. No, it's literally like right there. It's right down there. The flagpole right there. I'm turning around like, in this building. Oh, oh. Okay. You guys got a new building. You, 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 you know where the flagpole's at. What? You know where the flagpole's at. Just go to the flagpole and go to the flagpole. Yeah. It's kind of by the teacher apartment. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
how I'm doing. There's a camera back there. Um, yeah, everyone say hi to my folks. Hi, say hi. Say thank you for giving us Mr. Allen back. Hello. <laughs> uh, but so other than that, though, like other than that little, I'm just going to teach a lesson like I normally would, right? We're going to learn some math, and then we can hang out at the end if there's extra time, which I think there is. Um, so everyone should be on their notes page now. If you go ahead and put your name on it and copy down the objective for today, it's long. We're going to do a lot of math today. <coughs> Oh, you were trying to, but then the camera was there. You would rather sit closer to me than the camera. <laughs> Got a lot to do today. You guys did a little bit of this earlier with Mr. Tomko, so we're going to review it, and then we're going to talk about this thing called the discriminant. Gosh, you need right faster. <laughs> So, first things first, why the heck are we learning this, Mr. Allenbeck? That looks like a bunch of gobbledygook that I don't think happens in real life. And you're right. You say gobbledygook. Huh? Did I just use a vocab word? Is that what happened? Gobbledygook? Gobbledygook, whatever you just said. Gobbledygook, it just means like mumbo jumbo. That probably doesn't mean anything to you either. <laughs> Um, you'll never use this in real life, probably. There's no, there's a reason they're called imaginary numbers, right? Because they're imaginary and they don't have it in real life. But they're super important in algebra, I mean, in algebra two, they're super important in cal calculus and in any other math you ever do, like if you want to be an engineer or a doctor, these are going to be important. Plus, they're just like cool to learn about because you can play with imaginary numbers, right? And you get to understand that pi joke, the pi and the square root of one, it's like get real, be rational. Shouldn't be pretending to know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just learn. Okay. Did you guys do this yesterday? A little bit? Yeah. Alright. The trick to these, when it's just adding and subtracting, all you gotta do is pretend like it's a variable, right? So just combine like terms, should eat all the normal stuff. What's the very first thing I have to do? I'll take hands. What's the very first thing I have to do here? There's, it's tricky. Yeah, John Mark. Wait, John Mark, I don't see a negative one. Tell me more. You distribute, I guess. Uh, Here so the, yeah, so the 3 would become positive. Oh, I see. So you're distributing this negative sign? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what do I do with the rest of the numbers? Uh, sweet. Yeah, just going to bring it down. Now what? Now you make the negative 5. Okay, so really what we're doing here is distributing a negative 1, right? Okay, so it's plus 5, plus 3i, and then like 2, 7, just bring it up Now it's just like like terms. What can go together? That one. 6i, 3i, 3i, it's not 8i. What is it? You're right, it's 8i, right? But well, what's the operation on it? So, right, so it's negative 8i. Let me put those together. 6 plus 3 is negative. 6 plus 3 negative? Oh, 9. 9. Minus 8 is? Minus 8 is? 1. So we got 1i, do I need to put the 1 in front of it? No. So I just got i left. And then what else can go together? Shanique? Your negative 3. Yep. 5. Yep. So when I add this up, what do I get? Two. Plus two. So you could put one in front of the i, right? Chant it, but check it out. Would you ever write like this? X plus two, would you ever put a one in front of the x? If you were final, give your final answer. Right, it helps you while you're doing the problem, right? But for your final answer, like on the ACT, you would never have a one in front of it, right? So you could put a one in front of it, but that's fine. Take 45 seconds and do this on your own.
Delbert's sort of in box and his like sons. 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Every time I come by you, you haven't changed one bit, Nate. That's wrong. No, it's right, Nate. It has some confidence. That's wrong. No, it's right, Nate. It has some confidence. Seven seconds. This one's so hard. Get ready for a follow-up question if you answer it. Negative 4i times 4i. Negative 4i, right? This is the last, right? So negative 4i times 4i. It's. Oh, negative 69. Square i squared. Okay. okay. So we're going to write that for now. Negative 16i squared. squared. So what here can I combine right away? 8 to the 4. 
844 makes 32. 32 what? Five. Now, this is where we get in a little bit of trouble. Someone tell me again with a hand oh, raised. Oh, you know what to do? Yes. Well, already? Finally. Tell me. You changed it to negative one, right? Why? Because it's I squared. Why? What, what does I stand for? What is I equal to? Um, like something you just said Say it. Somebody else. It. Somebody else. I is the... Something to the square, right? Oh, come on! Square root or negative one. There, square root of negative one. Right? Mm -hmm. So Shantae is right. When we square this, those are opposite operations, so they cancel out, and all we're left with is negative one. Mm -hmm. Okay? So negative 16 times negative one makes it positive 16. Whoa! That was cool, because guess what? We can combine something else. What can we combine between? 16 and the negative 12. What do I get? So I get 4 plus 32i. Can I do anything else with that? No. Why not? They're not what? They don't have any more like terms. They're different. Could you use using your math book? There's nothing that goes together. All right. Oh my gosh, guys. Skip it. Let's do this one. How can I write that out to make more sense? Elena, how can I write that out first? Um, square both of them. Is that what you mean? Do you square this? Can you square this? I disagree with Elena. Why do I disagree with Elena? Tell me with the hand raised. Someone other than John Mark. Think about it for 10 seconds. Why don't we just square both terms? All right, turn to your partner and tell them what you're thinking. Shanique, join them. I'm here today. I already know why. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you square the What do we get? Say it again. 
Right. So close. Right. Sam, why do we have to square i? Seconds, fine. <laughs> you should have two more steps still. Fourteen seconds. We 
know what I times I is. Write it down. What is I times I? Write it down on your paper. Don't say it. What is I times I? All right, now, whisper it as soft as you can into your hand and hold it up. Well, Miss Conduct, we're juniors. I don't care. Do it. <laughs> whisper it in your hand and hold it up. Hold your hand. hand. John Mark's the only one who's going to do this. Whisper it in your hand and hold it up. And then you're going to throw it at me as loud as you can. What's out of time's out? Ready? One, two, three. I got two in. As loud as you can. That was as loud as you can. All right, negative one. I times I is I squared, right? Yeah. And we just said I squared is negative one times I. Can I make any sense of that? Nope. Right? So we end up with negative one times two sixteen is negative two sixteen, and we still have an I there. Where's that on your paper? Put it on your paper. <laughs> You're mind blown. Oh my gosh, this map is so cool. Alright, I see some confused faces. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to do the next one and see if we get it. Three, two, one, go. Alright, negative 2i to the fourth power. Again, we can distribute that. Negative 2 to the 4th power is going to be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, so that's 16. I don't care about that as much. Isn't it negative 16? Ooh. Ooh. What's negative 2 to the 4th power? Negative 2 times negative 2 is what? Right? We did this earlier, right? With the, with the even powers, it turns out to be... And with the odd numbers, it turns out to be a... So it's got to be positive, because we're raising it to an even power. Now, i to the 4th is tricky, tricky. What does it mean, I to the fourth power? What does it mean I do? I times I times I times I. Take 15 seconds. Write it out on your paper. What is it? What's I times I times I times I? Light bulb. I'll give you a hint. You ready?
stop. I'm going to give you another minute and a half. Ready? It has nothing to do with whether the answer is positive or negative. Go back to work. Here's what, I'll, here's what I'll give you. Use the words imaginary and real in your answer. One of them will always be imaginary, and one of them will always be real. Go. What's true about an imaginary number? It always has what letter in it? What very, yeah, what constant? It always has an I in it. So try them again. Try I squared, I to the fourth, I to the sixth. See which one always ends up in an I and which one doesn't. Thirty-seven seconds. Mr. Classic's me. It's funny. I come in and probably I haven't changed either, right? I'm probably doing all the same things that we do. When you guys used to mock me. What? Am I? You didn't change. I didn't change. But neither of you guys. Every time someone does something, I'm like, I know you. <laughs> you might have grown up a couple years, but you're not. Those were you using a more, much more scholarly voice than you used to. Remember the crazy voices you used to use? <laughs> do you remember that? I don't know. So we used to do but I, did, I sat by. Yeah, I know. I you always used to like make crazy voices at me. All right, what's. What's always going to be true about an even power? Turn and talk to your partner. Alright, David, what'd you say? What'd y'all say? Stop for a second. That's right. I care about why now. Why is this always going to be real? Think about it. Let me give you a hint. I to the sixth is really like this. Tell me. Wait. Okay, because if if it's if it's an it's odd number, they won't be in pairs. Therefore, they'll be more like pairs. Well, every time you have a pair, it turns into one. Okay, but what, about, what happens when I'm multiplying? It turns into a number. A number. What number? I times I is. What is it? What's the number? No, it's, yeah, it, no, it's not one. It's negative one. Right? I squared is always negative one. So with, with even number powers, we have pairs. So where we make I squares out of them and make them into negative one, so they're all real. Tell me again. Someone tell me what's the answer for the second one, Natalie. They're all going to be. Imaginary. And someone other than Elena now, explain to me why. Why is it always going to end up being imaginary? Because there's no other case. There's not another person. There's not another there's I for them, no. too, so therefore they cannot have. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. You're right, right? <laughs> yeah. There's always no, going to be. All right, it takes two to make a baby. If not, then. The way I look at it is like the odd. <laughs> no, you're right. You're like everything you said is true. Like the first one with an odd power, like I to the first power is I. Right. And it's not like so it, it pretty much moves out all the rest of them. Yeah. There's always going to be like. like you said it takes two to make a baby, right? It takes two eyes to make a real number. Okay. And there's always going to be one chilling at the end, right? If there's not a number. Yeah? It ain't going to happen. <laughs> All right. That's enough of, the, of, of this. Let's go into the actual part of our lesson. It's the smart Whatever, y'all. We got a lot to learn today. <laughs> tell me what it means to discriminate. Actually, no, stop. Turn and tell your partner. You have 30 seconds. Whisper. What does it mean to discriminate? Jesus, okay, that's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. What? Like, you're not like, you're prejudiced against you. Discrimination means you've got to have a choice, right? You've got to have a choice. 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 Basically, your options, right? You have options, but you're only choosing to pick one. That's like, 
Eyes on me in three, two, one. Um, I, I, I love that we got like some pretty serious argument. Like I was like, I was like hanging out over here just in case Elena and Chante like broke out in a fight over what to script. That would be hilarious. I wouldn't even stop you guys. I'd just be like, come on. <laughs> what does discriminate mean to you, Delbert? Uh, <laughs> you sat right in the middle. You you deserved it. You, you're right in my eyes. I'm not so picky. I don't know. What do you mean? Picky? Like picky. Okay, I kind of like that. Add on to it. Come more. Um, it's like, I, I see it as kind of like generalizing or categorizing things based on like qualities that uh, you may not be able to change. Categorizing. Yeah, my landlord discriminates, right? Um, Ed, tell me more about what y'all said, name. Tim? Choosy? When you hear it, discriminate, do you think it's a good word or a bad word? A bad word. A bad word, right? It has like a negative connotation. Like this, like you're dissing on somebody. Yeah, but like you're dissing somebody. Point there. You see, I was right. No, you, no. You're right. It's but like usually when we hear about discrimination, it's racial discrimination, right? Yeah. So it's like it's, prejudice. it's it's about put, putting people in different categories based on their race. Okay, I want you to forget now that discriminate has a negative connotation. It does usually, right? But I can also say I have very discriminating taste in women, right? Which means that like I really care a lot about picking a really good woman, right? Which I'm, I don't know, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing. It means, I love these. I love all of the things you say, because you guys are also lovely. But like, picky, categorizing, choosing, right? It means that we're gonna like, use the, the discriminant to categorize quadratics. So the discriminant categorizes, and this goes in your notes on the first page, so. Quadratics. Give me an example of a quadratic equation with a hand. Don't shout it out, give me an example. No one has an example. Look, they're all the board. You just did a whole project with them. Give me an example of a quadratic equation. There are like 17 on your paper. 2x squared plus 10x plus 11 equals 0. So what makes a quadratic? It's equal to 0. Fair. It doesn't have to be equal to 0, right? If I put the 11 over there, it would still be a quadratic, though. Yeah. What makes it a quadratic? What term there makes it a quadratic? Square. The square, right? It's a quadratic because it has a square term. All right. Now the quad, the discriminant of a quadratic. You guys know the quadratic formula, right? It's the part of the quadratic formula under the radical bar. So tell me what a radical bar is first. We did this. It was our jail when we used to do jail problems. It was our jail. What's the radical in this in that big long equation? What's the radical bar? Someone said it. It's the square root bar. Right? The radical bar is the math term for the square root bar. Tell me what's the rest what's the equation under the square root bar? What's the part of the equation under the square root bar? The quadratic formula. It's on the board right next to me. I'm just standing right next to it. Just chilling. You want us to say what it is? Yes, it! Oh, okay. <laughs> No, 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 that's the under the dividing bar that has a really special name that I'm forgetting about right now. Under the radical bar, what's the discriminant? It's the discriminant. It's, guys, it's b squared minus 4ac. All right. That's what we're doing all day long. b squared minus 4ac, write that down. b squared minus 4ac. b squared minus 4ac. Wait, someone dropped a d, that might work out. b squared minus 4ac. For 
example with this one. What's what's A, B, and C here? Shout it out, Delbert. What's A, B, and C? I guess A is 2x. A is not 2x. Uh, a is 2. Oh, A is 2. Oh. B is 10. C is 11. So then if we do B, B squared minus 4AC, we get 10 squared minus 4 times 11 times 2. This would be 100 minus 88. I'm going to get through this. <laughs> I'm bored of talking. Do the next tip by itself. Find the discriminant. 4 squared. Yeah, uh, B squared minus 4 AC. Find the discriminant for each of the next tip. Because it's positive. We can take the square root of zero. 